A lot of people were sad to see you go last night. Does it feel good to kind of have that support from the fans who have been watching at home this whole time? Um, yes. <laughs> um, it does. Um, and, it, you know, it feels better than being talked about in a negative light. Of, yeah, I would think that would be the case. And, you know, going into this show, it kind of seemed like you were maybe one of the ones who didn't know as much about it. The, the rules were maybe a little confusing, but, it you was. know, how long did it take for you to, to think you really got a firm grasp on it? You know, it's so crazy funny. I still don't. <laughs> we're just using each day, each day <laughs> to um basically just to like kind of get by. Um um and you know i'm st I'm still kind of like learning about it I, yeah. I know how we can stretch you mentally and how I, I, just... how I grew a lot um, and having been able to kind of maybe see some of what go has been going on this whole time does it help make it make a little more sense to you looking back yeah 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 <laughs> it does. um it lets me know that I, I feel like I went to the play the game the right way Mm -hmm. Try to be as honest and transparent as possible, which that's a part of my life that um I think I've turned over that new leaf. And you know, what else is there more to do just to um to learn? Yeah. My grandma, my grandma told me when you stop learning, you stop living. So mm -hmm. words to live by. Yeah. <laughs> and you know, when you were evicted last night, it it did seem when you were talking to Julie, at least, that things between you and Todrick were okay. But then, obviously, we've seen your Instagram post calling him maybe a fake friend um, who yeah, didn't do it. Right. That's, those, those my managers put that out there. I just got my Zen phone. I don't even have Instagram connected uh, to my phone. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I think that was the way that they were um, seeing things. Um, I try not to get that emotional. Yeah. Um, especially talking about another man. You know what I'm saying? And those weren't even my words. Mm. Um, and, you know, hopefully he can uh, see past that. But I let them all know I don't even, you know, control my my IG because I don't like the temptation that comes along with Instagram. Mm. Um, so then I guess, how do you feel about his gameplay? Because people have seen... I mean, it was, it, was, it was a little shady. Yeah. You know, but, you know... Um, People think he'll have trouble with the jury, convincing them to vote for him at the end of the day. Yeah, I've seen people do a lot more for a less amount of money. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, um, we're talking about you know making that type of money during the pandemic, where it's hard for two people to run rub two dimes together. Yeah, here we are. You know, just um, being able to make the kind of money that we made just to show face. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I think it's easy to get lost in that. Yeah. And, um, you know, I told myself, you know, I'm not going to let the, you know, the money, you know, make how I move, which I never just, just performed for money. Yeah. Um, and for you, I guess, what was the most challenging aspect of being in this house, being away from your friends, family, social media, the news, just how much of a, a shell shock was that for you? Um, it was, you know, it was, the, it was like when I was like, damn, it's going to be different. It was when I was just in the house, whether it be having a hard day or a good day, and I'm just starting to sing. And I said, like, stop singing. Like, <laughs> damn, I can't even. Are you on a set right now? No, 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 this is fake background. Oh, oh I was going to say, what the hell? <laughs> this guy's on How'd I set. get in there? <laughs> um, um, oh, yeah, it's um, got to be just a totally weird, wild experience overall, that isolation, I guess, that comes with it. Yeah. And, you know, obviously, during your exit interview with Julie last night, it was clear that you and Todd have clearly bonded a lot. You even revealed that you asked him to be your sober coach. Just yeah. were you surprised you two became as close as you did and got to a place where you felt comfortable asking him that? Yeah. Um, you know, no, because um, you know, when you when you live the kind of life that both of us lived, you know, we, you know, and he's him being a, a child star and 
um, you know, me being a child star and, and us, you know, choosing the way of life that we both chose, you know, at the, you know, an adult point of our life, I know I can learn a lot. He's already told me some things that I'm going to, you know, take with me. And, and, um, um, yeah, he said he's ready for a TV show on a podcast. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It seems like you guys are going to have at least, at least coming out of that, that's one thing, one good thing you're taking away from the show. Yeah. And, you know, obviously, I'm sure you have now seen all the headlines, but every comment you made about Chloe made the news. Just going in, were you hoping to maybe use the show as a tool to, to reach out or, or make a grand gesture? Or is it just oh, I, something I that think, happened? I didn't think on Celebrity Big Brother that they were going to ask me this many questions about her. Mm. I, you know, she wiped my ass, bro. Like, I don't yeah. like what you want from people. Mm. Like, but, and this is just, this is my truth that I'm living in. So, you know, when somebody, you know, does that for you, and I don't think, you know, you're ever going to forget them. Or they're, always yeah. gonna, they're always going to be dear to you, or at least dear to you. Yeah. And do you think this maybe is going to help in some way, I guess, lastly, if that's well, hopefully, hopefully it can, it can um, help us, you know, just be friends. You know, like I said yeah. in some interviews before this, you know, just to be around her it would be a blessing. Mm. You know, I'm, not, I'm not forcing anything. I don't need for that to happen. Yeah. Time goes by, people change for the good, yep. for the better, whatever it may be. Um, mm. I, think, you know, I think I would still live um, if it didn't happen. Yeah. yeah. You know, I'm sure you now know, but throughout the whole season, your your farts have become a running joke inside the house. Yeah. Were, you, were you surprised by that or how are you embarrassed at all i guess uh, no, I'm not, i mean sometimes i'm embarrassed but i'm embarrassed that it's, it's coming up now that i'm outside the house um but you know what the, what the hell man you can't do everything right yeah and you know like i said to everybody in the house i didn't i didn't mean to offend anybody or come between anything that people got going on outside the house you know i just wish everybody the best yeah life and, yeah. and lastly i guess can we have the final three cynthia Ta todrick and misha yeah, do you I'm, think cynthia I'm, has a chance you know when it, especially with jury management and everything no i'm thinking that um misha would win I yeah could, i could support her winning like i said before her being a 35 year old ufc fighter she probably got three or four more fights left so <laughs> all right yeah, i'm voting for misha well, thank you for your time, Lamar. Have a good one. I'll be watching the finale. Take care, bro.